Okay, so uh, in this I'm going to show you how we can use a software RAID to create a striped or mirrored array as we need. Uh, so the first thing we want to do is we want to get to disk management. If you guys remember I told you it was under the computer, so we'll go to computer, right click it, and go to manage. There we go. Make that bigger for you to see. So we go over to disk management and it will load here in the right pane. So in this case, we have four new hard drives that were inserted into the machine, and we're going to initialize them first. We're either going to use a master boot record, which is usually used by Windows, or a GPT, a GUID partition table, which is what's used by Macintosh and Linux computers. So we're using Windows, so we're going to use MBR, so we'll hit OK. And those now are online but unallocated space. So we have our current disk 0, which is our system disk, and then we have disk 1, 2, 3, and 4, all 808 gigabytes each. So if I want to create first a striped disk, which will be for speed, we'll call that our editing disk based on this scenario here. So I'm going to go ahead and right click that and go to a new striped volume. From here we can follow the wizard and say next. We're going to add the first two disks in. So now I have two disks that are going to be part of this striped volume. I'm going to give them a letter, in this case I'll call them E and I'll give them a name and I'll format it as NTFS. So in this case I'm going to use it editing and this is going to be my RAID 0 for speed. And finish. It's going to tell me I have to convert these to dynamic disk because I'm using a software RAID. I'll say yes. And it did that and so now I have this editing drive is a striped dynamic disk array with an NTFS file system 1.57 gigabytes in size. Alright, the next thing we want to do is we want to create a mirrored array. And the way we can do that is we'll go down here and we'll right click again. And in this case we'll go to mirrored. And we're going to do the same thing except we're doing a mirror instead of a stripe, which will give us redundancy. So we'll add this 3 and 4. We'll use all of those. We'll call it F. And in this case I'm going to call that backup. And then we'll say yes. And now we have the backup drive, which is a mirrored array. It's dynamic disk again because it's RAID using NTFS. And here we only have 808 gigabytes because, again, even though each one was 808, we're having two copies of the same thing, so we're only going to get 808 total. Whereas with the striping, we have no redundancy, but we do have twice the amount of space. We have 1.57 terabytes. Uh, here you can see we do have fault tolerance on our backup drive, but we're having a 50% overhead because half of our space is being used by redundancy. 